Hey, what's up guys? Malt here, and we're back with some more, and possibly final, evil tonight. And, um, yeah. So, I did, after, like, I re ended recording last time, I went off and just, like, gathered as much shit as possible that I could find. I retraced all my rooms and shit. And, um, then I just saved it and left it for my next recording. And I'm pretty sure I'm basically good to go now. I got, like... Yeah, I got 40 handgun bullets, 81 crossbow bolts, 24 shotgun shells. This is not too good. 40 machine gun machine... But, but this is the important part. Look, I got one apple and two full-on first aid kits. I have like three lives basically now. I have a lot of options. And I have a lot more room to go with this battle now. So, this is probably it. I'm gonna try and beat this boss in this run. This is gonna be the boss fight. And we're gonna hopefully beat his ass. Her ass. Whoever's ass. How do I play this game again? That's probably a good sign, right? Okay. So from what I remember, I think it's just the number of times I hit her for this one. For this first phase? I think? I really wish I could skip this, though. But it's okay. Okay, okay. So I'm, I'm assuming, like, everything else is probably going to be a third, three-phase boss fight. Two would be okay with me, too, but I have a feeling... I'm going to assume it's three. So at first, I'm pretty sure... Oops, I keep switching my gun by accident. So you ba she basically does a lot of, um... This stuff. Does my damage actually matter in this phase? I think it does. Oh. Ow. Um, she's really zoning me out right now, though. I tried like a slasher in this phase. Did she do it? I forgot if- Oh no, she does do like a rock thing that killed me last time I tried to melee her. At 50%, right? Might as well eat the apple now. Because, um... Well, it's not gonna fully heal me. What do those orbs do again for him? For her? I probably shouldn't touch them. Probably not. I guess I'm just kind of slowly creeping around. I'm not doing enough damage to, to really justify this, though. Just doing a lot of damage? Not really. Ow, she just backhanded me. Maybe I should just use the shotgun for this phase. But I feel like I should save it for the second one, because it gets really chaotic. But I'm barely doing anything right now. Maybe I should use a crossbow, but then I have to get really close. Hmm. I gotta also not miss like that. Oh, here are the rocks. Whoops. Oh boy, I'm, I'm cornered. Hold on. I got a damage boost through this. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But ow! That was kind of rushy for me. I shouldn't have done that. Alright, so this is where things get kind of wild. Whoops! Well, I'm doing a lot of damage to the shotgun, but um, I'm also taking a lot of damage. I'm just kind of tanking mechanics right now, aren't I? Is that really the full fight? Oh shit, wait, hold on. Oh, so it's only two- Wait! So with enough shotgun, I was able to just kind of ignore everything and heal through everything. Like a pro- I thought that was gonna take way longer for me. Okay. Did I win? They're back. Violetta Carbone- Carbone? Violetta Carbone? 
For the last time, you need to leave this earthly plane. You no longer belong here. Are you finally prepared to ab abandon this academy once and for all? Sylvia, wait! My Carla, no. Do not worry, I... I think I finally understand. I do not have the strength to continue fighting. Not anymore. Violetta, come closer so that I can see you clearly. You're not looking the right way. Carlotta, my, my Carla, you have grown so much. And into such a beautiful girl. No, a woman, I should say. You could be a star yourself, and the Carbone name would start shine bright. Not like with me, a blemish to our family. No, don't say that! How is mother? How fa family? How are you happy? We- yes, we're all fine. We just miss you. We live in Rome now, and not a single day goes by that we don't look at your photos, thinking of you. I miss you all so- uh, I feel- Sylvia, what's happening? What's, what's wrong with her? She's finally beginning to understand the truth. There isn't much time left. When she vanishes completely, we'll all be transported back to the real world, and at last the curse of this academy will be lifted. No! Do not worry. Seeing you, my little Carla, again has made it all worthwhile. This music! Uh, everyone's crying. Something's st stuck in my eye again. You. It is thanks to you that I am seeing Carla once more. For that, I thank you. Little C came on her own. She's a real Carbone. Stubborn, persistent, determined, talented. Remind you of someone. She will reach high, up to the stars, where she will shine eternally. Oh, even the ghost is crying! So how is this all... Oh, yep, we're back to normal now. Back to reality! You wakey little troublemakers, enjoy your naps. Uh, my head. Was I dreaming? Well, you ain't in Wonderland anymore, D man. The reality of our, or how this whole place is. So, we were actually walking around the ruins this whole time. Guys, we're back. We're saved. Sylvia saved us. I knew she would. Huh, so, that was all real? So cool. Carlotta, listen, little C, I have something for you. Come here. What is it? Is that the notebook? Oh, it's oh, it's the, her entire diary because I actually got all the diary pages. Wow, it's it's Violetta's diary. Yeah, it's strange though. This is the first time something like this has has happened. Nothing has ever materialized into the real world from the other dimension before. Me, Violetta's power and desire to show you this, along with my mental strength, created a force strong enough to bring this item from the other other dimension to the real world. Just a guess. Dad or maybe D-Man stole it. Hey, what? I didn't... Come on, Ar Carlotta. Read it. Yeah, let's see what it says. Wait, but it's, so, it's super traumatizing. It's about how she had dreams and then got impregnated and killed. I don't know if this is something you should read. But should I? Of course, it's here for a reason, whatever that may be. I already read it in the other, other dimension, so it's all up here in my head. It's true, I do have it in my menu now. My sister... It's so sad to think all this because of that envious Graziella Monti. It's all her fault. <laughs> you really think so? Oh yeah, we met the, that Graziella is who we met at the beginning of the game, right? So we're about to fucking revenge on her. Yes, it's so obvious. Can't you see? Well, all I can say is that sometimes things aren't what they seem. Yeah, because it is all from Violetta's perspective, I guess. Kiddos, my little rascals, my work here is over, so it's time to say. But what about the diary? Aren't you going to do something? Shouldn't we take it to the police or something? I think if you have questions for Graziella, then maybe you should go and find her before doing anything else. Sylvia, would, would you come with me to see her? One condition, you invite me to a monster-sized mint chocolate ice cream first. Oh, that's a deal. <laughs> Let's go. Gross, only weirdos like mint chocolate ice cream. I used to really like mint chocolate ice cream. A lot when I was growing up, and then for whatever reason I just stopped because I started thinking that I was actually eating toothpaste after some point. I don't know how the hell I converted back to not liking it, but I don't know. I don't know, honestly, what's going on with me. Oh yeah? Isn't it your favorite flavor vanilla? Yes, it's the best! Let's hit the road, kiddos. My favorite flavor is strawberry. No one likes strawberry. I really wish there was 
more strawberry in the world. Or at least, I don't know, I feel like there's a lot less people who like it than I realized. A lot of people like chocolate, and I really don't like chocolate anything, really. Incredible. Your story is difficult to believe, but... With Violetta's diary here in my hands and all the events you narrated being true, at least those I was present in, I have to believe what you said. Then... You killed her! You poisoned my sister out of envy! Is that what you truly think? I suppose you have a right to blame me. After all, it's true I envied her. I envied Violetta's immense talent, her strength and dedication. Just a simple girl from the streets. Of course, in those days, I was unaware of, my admi of her admiration of me. I must admit that I closed myself off to her from the start. In truth, what I felt for her was also an absolute admiration. And you murdered her because of that? I did no such thing. Then again, maybe yes, indirectly. I, what? Violetta never took the medicine I prepared. And there it is, exactly as I sus suspected. But on the last page of the diary, it's clearly written. Come on, Carlotta, use that hardware between your ears. Can't you figure it out? Who was the last person to visit Violetta on the day of the incident? It was... No. It can't be. Patrizio told me of Violetta's problem, and I blackmailed him. I told him that in exchange for a remedy to their problem, he would have to completely forget Violetta, to erase that she even existed from his mind, to ignore her forever. And if he didn't, then I would reveal their secret to everyone, ending them both at the Academy. They would have been thrown out. Reluctantly, Patrizio agreed, or so at first I thought. He never collected the remedy I prepared. But why would Patrizio poison Violetta? Violetta? He was in love with her. The madness of love. Maybe in a moment of hopelessness, as Patrizio imagined the unimaginable for life without Violetta, he snapped. Perhaps in his madness he'd decide that if he couldn't be with Violetta, then nobody could. Patrizio was in a lose-lose situation. If the city goes out or not, they were destined to part. Think about it. But they could have left the Academy together. No, for Violetta, the Academy was everything, believe me. Back then, we were just naive little girls, blinded by our dreams. But I never imagined Patrizio could... Had I known, I... perhaps... I do not expect forgiveness or compassion. Everything I told you is the truth, or as close as it is, as close to as close to it as my mind is able to remember. I understand. Only thing I want to know is what happened to Patrizio. Nobody knows. After a few months, he left the academy and, and disappeared, as if the earth itself had swallowed him up. What? Isn't that enough? Isn't that information in the case file, older sister? Why let his body? In the case of her older sister, Violetta's body was found in her room with a heart attack-like sym symptoms. No other evidence was found, not even after the autopsy. And no one was even suspected in foul play. That's exactly right, that's what happened, but up until now I was unaware of Patricio's visit to Violetta on the night of her death. Of course, it's entirely possible that on that night Patricio went back to Violetta's room a second time to remove evidence. We have to go to the police and tell them what? Honestly, I, d I doubt if Patricio is still even alive. Also, do you think the police are going to believe our story? Isn't all of it a bit too implausible and intricate for them? Anyway, it's your choice. Well, as we're all about wrapped up here, let's go. Wait. I wanted to say thank you for letting me read Violetta's diary. In spite of now feeling even more guilt about it, just sharing this story with you has, in a way, freed me from, from the mysterious pain that has afflicted my heart. And you, Carlotta, in your eyes I see the same fire your sister had. Do you think so? I absolutely do. And you will reach high, up to the stars, where you will shine eternally. So we're just kind of going to end on that note, or are we going to actually get any more closure on this whole Patrizio situation, I wonder? Or have some sort of hint? Well, my little rascals, it's that time when we all start getting weepy-eyed as we say goodbye. Where will you go now? Back home, to Rimini? It's still beach season there, and I can't wait to get home rest up and tan my super sculpted body in glorious sunshine while spying on hotties with my mini binoculars. Do you think you'll ever come to Florence again? Beats me. Guess that depends on th if things start acting spooky here. So, in the meantime, Pepe, keep being as strong and as brave as you've been, because there's a lion inside you. Don't so, so don't ever doubt it. Roar! I won't. Bianca, when I decide to learn piano again, you're gonna teach me. Special free, free, free of charge discount, though, right? Deal. Friends and family benefits. What about you, Dino? Any plans for the rest of summer? Actually, I thought I'd write a mystery adventure novel. Everything that happened to us has been so exciting. I hope I have some writing talents, though. You never know until you try. Go for it. Lady, you speak no falsehood. 
I shall brave to embark on this endeavor forthwith. And, my little C, Carlotta, what are you going to do? Well, I've been thinking about dedicating myself to the world of acting. Ooh, cool. Do you want to become, when you become super famous, I absolutely have to be your favorite friend who attends all your luxurious parties with you. Big sis prefer preferential treatment, right? You can count on it. That's what I like to hear. Well, kiddos, I'm off. Take care of each other and see you when I do. I just clipped right through that girl. Wait, there's three of the same girl on the screen. You think we'll ever really see her again? I think we all know the answer to that. Sylvia! I mean, there isn't there the technology out there for us to have communicate still? I don't know. Uh, I think I've got something in my eye. Wow, they got really attached to each other. I didn't even realize that happened at any point. <laughs> but maybe I wasn't keeping track. There it is! There was Evil Tonight! A game by DYA Games. DYA Games, you guys had a really fucking good game here. These two, yeah, these two made the whole game. Alberto Vilchez and Daniel Vilchez. I don't even know if I said their name correctly, but... Damn, this game was so cool! And also they have other games that I actually want to try out now. Yeah, the Medicine Game Maker. Man, they got, they got other games I saw that looked kind of similar in aesthetic. I don't know if the games are actually similar, but... I am really impressed. At the beginning of this series, I remember being like, If this is a good game, I'll play all the other DYA games that, that seem interesting. And you know what? This is a good game. This was a really fun game. It didn't overstay its welcome. It had really, really good aesthetic and sound design. Holy shit, it was so good. And, yeah, I don't know. It was great. It, was re it really was a Resident Evil, basically, inspired game, and in all the good ways, honestly. Near the end, it was very frustrating because of having so many enemies suddenly thrown at me with very... and suddenly became a lot more survival than horror. It was more just like, God damn it, why there's so many enemies on the fucking screen? But, oh my god, man. The first time through every room, discovering all the things, finding the keys, exploring out the way... Uh, getting super familiar with the, with the entire area. Oh my god, look at that! They're all gonna have cute art. There's Sylvia. There's Aldo Brandino Dino Parizzi. There's Calada Carla Carboni. Is that Pepe? Yo, it's Pepe. There's uh, Bianca. Bianca? Oh, yeah, the piano girl. Graziella. Oh, even she gets a host right. And the ghost, Violetta Carbone. That was cute. I like this game a lot. I'm really glad. Oh, look at that. Oh no, it's Violetta and, and her sister from a long time ago. I guess that's around when she passed away because that's how old she would have been. The end. Ah, right, this is good. I really enjoyed this game. I really did enjoy this game a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me get through this. We're finally done. We beat this game. I think it'll be a pretty memorable game for me. I definitely recommend, I'm gonna be recommending this game to people who are looking for a good little game to play. And uh, you can expect some more DYA games in the near future. For now, I think I'm gonna be focusing more on some more, I don't know. I wanna get more gameplay games without less, with less text like this game. This game was really great to play through. Uh, I, have, I have visual novels going on right now at the same time and all this other stuff, but Oh, man, I don't know. I, my thoughts aren't getting together. Like, I'm just thinking about it. It was a it was a really good game. I really enjoyed this game. The music is so good. There's so many things that are amazing about this game, and I'm just, like, kind of sad because I'm pretty sure this game is super under the radar. And I gotta, I just hope that I, even doing this series will hopefully get more eyes on it because it really deserves it. It really does. If only I had more, more reach. Anyways. I think, I think that's enough rambling. Let me see what happens if I press the button. Just, it's just meant- Oh, cool, 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 cool. Alright, so, yeah, I took 6 hours and 18 minutes. I died 11 times. My time sucks, because I took so long. I saved 51 times, and I missed 3 of the figurines. Yeah, it's about what I expected. It's about what I expected. So that's Graziella, Violetta, and... Okay, so it all ties together in the end. This is very interesting. 
Very good. Very cool. I think I got the one achievement that I that I got. Beat the adventure. Everything else? Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't know about beating it hardcore. About without dying, without saving. I mean, I know how exactly where everything is now, but goddamn, that takes some skill, bro. Maybe one day if I'm really feeling a random challenge and I don't have anything to play, I'll probably play it again. But for now, I think I'm good. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video and if you like this series, please leave a like down below. It helps me a lot. If you've gone through this entire series or maybe found this last episode and watched the entire thing and spoiled everything without subscribing to me, you should at least subscribe to me. Come on, you can do that. I, I, think, I, think, I think I'm worth the sub. And, um, yeah, I'm gonna... We're gonna be playing some more different things right now. I don't know. I actually have some plans already for what we're playing next. So hopefully you guys are gonna be excited about the next series coming up. And, yeah. I hope you guys all have a great day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!